Yeah, hey, it's Gray. So I bet you guys are wondering where the original video was for this topic. No, the one that was premiered. I actually privated that because I wanted to actually add more information and it seemed like it was getting dragged out a lot. A lot of technical difficulties came in with the audio and stuff with the notifications. And so I'm just here to apologize for that. That was none of my intentions. As well as my voice. Actually, I'm going to address that right here. I what My voice, I don't know if you guys, of course you guys can't hear or see me. But my voice is like really loud and clear. I'm like speaking into my phone right now and it's like pretty loud and clear. But the thing is that like my mic is just very messed up and I have zero idea why. So if the audio comes out very messed up in this video again, I'm sorry. Hopefully there won't be no no notifications. Um, that won't happen definitely. I'm making double sure about that. But yeah. So let's get into the topic of the of today's video. And don't worry, um, no notifications, like I said. <laughs> so today we're gonna be talking about hacky. This topic was long overdue on my channel because of many behind the scenes um stuff that happened. So finally I'm getting into the topic. And I shall get into the topic. Today, we are talking about Hecky, a well-known sexual content creator and SW artist. They mainly fall under the sexual content when it comes to NSFW. Now, I must say this right here. I do not care what NSFW artists, NSFW artists do. Honestly, I don't care if you draw NSFW. Just as long as it isn't straight up weird... And what I mean weird, I mean illegal. That's literally what I mean when I say weird. Or it ha it's just very wrong. Like I can sense it's wrong in some sort of way, but I just can't put my fingertip on it, you know? But yeah, she makes that type of content, and it's pretty goofy in my opinion. I honestly don't know what's going, what goes through people's minds when they do this, but oh well. She is still in the other cell fandom till this day, surprisingly. Um, I, I'm surprised that she didn't pull Rouge and then she just left the fandom to let it rot after what she created. But yeah, most people can't um, see the Undertale because most of her the art that we see seems okay, but just has weird Undertale. So uh, today I'll be pointing out the major wrong things and the new evidence that he got. So first, we're going to go from present to past this time. And unlike my Rouge video, which was actually in vice versa, where we did um, past to present. So only because of how scattered out the art is. And so I can't get a proper timeline of it. And oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry if you hear um, any truck noises. I'm sorry. Um, but... We're going to get into this. So, we have this tweet. Um, it was very awkward to see this. Like, very, very awkward. And, honestly, I don't know how to react to this after seeing this so many... T after seeing this tweet so many times and the follow-up tweets after... Honestly, I'm not. I sh just not shocked anymore of how the fandom is. I'm just not really shocked anymore. And this fandom raised so many kids to think that shipping incest and a lot of other stuff is okay. And I'm upset at the adults for not tr for not stopping and trying to stop it and trying to help the kids understand. That it's wrong but instead just sitting back and doing nothing while kids flat out ship font set which is actually something that we're gonna cover in this video which I wish I never had to because that's the last thing I want to cover in this video as and any other video as well but here we are this tweet as we can see has the context of a 10 and 15 year old which we could see a 10 and 15 year old Hecky. Now, my question to Hecky, which I did ask myself and I said this many times to the echoing void of nowhere. 
hey, hecky, why didn't you draw, like, any other version of your persona? Because I, because it's well known that you draw your persona in its adult form, but why didn't you just do that instead? Why did you have to draw them as, you know, a minor? I know artistic nudity comes into mind, but to be honest, I honestly don't know why you had to post about play. I mean, like, I don't mind artistic nudity. I mean, it's perfectly normal, but it just rubs me off wrong, I guess. I don't know. You guys, you guys can comment down and see if it's a nitpick or not on my term. But a lot of people in the replies of that tweet were very much uncomfortable of what Hecky posted. And so she followed up with another tweet stating of how she does not care about the hate that she's getting and she will just block it. And in any other situation, that is perfectly, that is actually a good way to respond to it. Usually if you get hate, you block it. You don't have, you shouldn't have to deal with the negativity of something. But if it's something as serious as this, I think it's best to address it and not block out the hate because it just makes you seem more guilty, you know? That's what got my attention to, you know, screenshot this in case the tweet gets deleted. But I'm surprisingly and not surprised at the same time, the tweet is still up to this day of recording. Now, after that little tweet... She also thanks her supporters for not bashing her and actually, you know, enjoying the art. But there is this one certain person that by you ca- you catching the screenshots of them, you know, defending this and stuff, saying it's fictional. And yeah, that's the most I okay, what I have to say on that on the on that argument it, about how people say fiction doesn't affect reality. You are the weakest link. If you bring up that argument, just know that you already lost. If we're in an argument and I see your ass and you and you go, well, fiction doesn't affect reality. I just gonna say W I'm gonna say win. That's a win for me. I'm telling you. It's a win. I don't care what you say. I win in that argument. Okay? Just letting y'all know. Cause if y'all try to pull that on me in the in private DMs or something like that. Guess what? Automatic win. That's an automatic win for me. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, uh, this tweet just made a lot of people uncomfy, especially most of a majority of her following. I think she lost a lot of followers. I mean, some followers from it, but not as much as you think. Surprisingly, I thought it would be more, but I, you know, not even surprised. Now, let's get into, okay, yeah, let me, you know, set the little trigger warning thing right here. I know I did it in the beginning, but uh, I'm going to do it again. This, the, for the remainder of the video, I will be talking about sexual assault and, yeah, just a lot of sexual things. Not that I don't mind, it's just that sexual assault is the thing that kind of c- catches me off guard still, kind of just discussing to even talk about it. I shouldn't even have to talk about it. But at this point, I want to address a lot of things in the community that I think is incorrect and wrong. So, here we are. Now, let's get on to the font set. Yeah. So, actually, reviewing the art and stuff, there is, I think I can grab the timeline, question mark. But the oldest piece I have from Hecky is, um, yeah, this. All I have to say is that um, the caption explains itself. And I shouldn't have to explain it. But it seems like Sans is is having a bad time, if you know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, that this isn't this isn't good at all. Like, at all. Like, I, I, I genuinely just, like, I'm genuinely not going to post for, like, a while after doing this video. Please end my suffering. But, yeah. Um, I'll do anything for you guys to get, you know, educated, though, for the whole community. I will do anything to get this community back in shape so I cannot rip my head off every time I do this. <sighs> Let's get on to the next one, because, honestly... I just want to edit this, edit this video, go back to sleep, and then just go back to my daydream land at this point. Even if I hate it, I honestly do not care at this point. 
I procrastinated this video for too long and I feel like my ass is aching and fear and quaking. Now, let's get on to the Dream Mare. Well, I guess Dream Mare? Shatter Dream Mare? Shatter Mare? I honestly don't know what the fuck to call this ship. Either way, disgusting. Don't support it. Now, um, the translation to this is very rough, but someone in my in the first video help, tried to help, and I want to thank that person very much for helping me in this. But the rough translation to this has is among the lines of how cute brother your your cute brother something among the lines of that. But if you do actually speak um speak this um please um please have a good translation please or a proper one or at least say that I was incorrect. But um yeah hopefully that was incorrect I mean that was correct sorry but um I'll try and explain this image the best I can without losing my voice but this this image has night seeming very uncomfortable he seems shaking quaking of fear um bond held against as well with the wrist bandages um tears that's mainly all i could point out but overall the context and undertone of this image is just very wrong once we have a good once we have a good translation of the wet shatter saying hopefully it'll make more sense in some way but yeah overall this ain't looking good per usual on this channel next we have of course paper fresh now i'm actually going to state something after this and so once it gets to that point you can actually have thankfully i put time stamps on this video so you can just skip the rambling after this point now, in this image, you might be thinking, hey, Gray, what's wrong with this? Seems perfectly fine. Seems perfectly consensual. Yeah, but um, there's actually two things wrong with this. The first one is a major nitpick. So I think you, I hope you guys can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this nitpick. Now, we've seen a certain cr other creator that I brought up earlier in this video has, you know, has a paper jam that, you know, says Mr. Fresh. And that that paper jam has very much hinted to be a minor. And, uh, okay, I'm just going to spill the beans. So, Rouge's PJ has, the, has hinted to be a minor. And, you know, minors can't consent. So, um, yeah, just letting those two things there, and I think we get the idea, and now we're going to get the dogs on leash. Now, um, here's the second problem, which I think most people don't know. Seven Good Angel, PJ's creator, and Gaiden's creator, if you, if you know who Gaiden is, please marry me. Please talk. Anyways, um, yeah, let's, let's pick up the pace on this. <laughs> um, I'm getting too distracted on this, it's pretty hot. So... Let's get into what the second thing is incorrect on this. So, Seven Good Angels stated of how they do not want their characters to be sexualized in any sort of way. And if you want a more clear proof, if you can't see it correctly, if the screenshot is too blurry or, you know, pixelated, you can easily click down the link. It literally has the FAQ of, you know, for PJ and most of her characters, to be honest. So, if you really want to get more information and correct information and canon information, please go to her deviant art. Also, please, please, I beg of you, support Seven Good Angel and her fantastic art. Please. It is very majestic. I also actually want to thank, you know, Nico for actually helping me because they give a lot of critique that actually helps me with my videos. So, again, thank you, Nico. Love you. No homo, though. Um, but yeah. Um, I think a lot of people don't know that. Okay, here's the, t here's the mark for the ramble. So, if you want to skip this, you can skip this. This should take, like, a while. This should take, like, a couple of seconds, though. I've seen a lot of misinformation go around about Paper Fresh. And I'm going to have to state it here that Paper Fresh is perfectly okay to ship as long as the canon version. Paper Jam canonly is 24. Despite having a partner and a kid, 
Seven Good Angel doesn't mind him being shipped with other people. People fail to understand that, though, because, you know, they don't like Paper Fresh. And honestly, it's perfectly valid not to like Paper Fresh. But it crosses the line when you spread misinformation. Now, you might be saying, hey, great, isn't, you know, aren't they related? No, they aren't. If you're going to refer to Mama CQ AU, don't. Because it's been debunked for a while that that AU isn't canon. And even, you know, CQ herself, she stated of how she jokingly shipped air and fresh. So, I think CQ has more common sense not to ship siblings from, you know... Yeah, we stand CQ in this household. Me and the boys, me and the homies don't fuck with people who support people who, um, 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 y'all know that bananas taste good. But, yeah, let, welcome back to the people who skipped. Um, yeah, you practically didn't miss much. I was just talking about how people spread misinformation. So, yeah, but if you actually do want to hear that ramble, you can, you know, you know go back to that timestamp. Mm. <laughs> Okay, let's get head on to the next image. Now, these next couple of images, um, they will have the full-on proof that you need in the caption. So, yeah, um, I don't think I need to. If I actually need to explain on how this is wrong, um. I think that I need, I think everyone needs their eyes check. I'll pay for everyone. But um if you can't see swap isn't consenting. If your partner even if they consented before you guys start and they take back that consent, you stop immediately. You do not continue. And I think that's all I have to say on that. Because Swap seems to be not consenting anymore at all. Whew. Now, here's the one that I did kind of mess up on. Not exactly, but I was more of like questioning it in this vi- in the last video. Now, here's what I was questioning and some people answered in the comment section. Chris from Delta Rune, we can see the school setting and everything. Now, what I said in my last video, I contradict myself. I say that Chris is most likely um, the age is around 16 through early 18. But I was like, hey, if I get this wrong, please correct me. And most people were like, hey, Chris is actually 13 through 15. And I was like, oh, word? So, yeah, I'm, co- I'm going to correct myself here. So, Chris is... Most likely minor coded. I mean, like, yeah, we can see the characteristics and everything. Um, yeah. Um, I like eating corn dogs with mayonnaise. For real though, they be they could be kind of good. <laughs> now nah, I'm playing. Um, but yeah, this isn't looking good for Hecky at all. Like at all, at all. Don't think I need to explain much on. Why this image is wrong anymore. Next couple of images are just hit nitpicks in my opinion. But I think we only have like what like one more image if I'm correct. Which is this. The this is kind of just a nitpick because I just I just think that fresh looks hella fucking uncomfortable. Like honestly. Holy crap, I lost my voice throughout this video. I'm sorry if my voice sounds cracky. But um yeah. Paper. Fresh just looks very uncomfortable. Hopefully that yeah, that's it actually. So, um my final thoughts on Hecky. Um I think that this is enough to say that Hecky knows of what they're doing is incorrect, yet they don't stop. They've done this for a while now, and I I know her art is awesome but you know there's other content creators art that you can use for the users on tiktok who say but her human designs are awesome trust me they're very genetic if i see one more and i i'm praying to god if i see one more ink human ink with the side cut with the undercut and the side cut and stuff trust me i'll rain hellfire 
if I see one more coming from a black person, if I see one more picture of Era with his, with his hair back and it straight and he's full on dark skin and then he and then they give him dreads and just the dreads, you know, not stylized or anything. Trust me, it's the same thing. Hellfire will rise. Try and find new black hairstyles. It's easy. Go on Google. Look up the hairstyle that you're doing and use that as a reference, please. But trust me, Hecky's human designs aren't original. I've seen that so many times on Instagram and a lot of other platforms for human science designs. And it's just so generic. I'm sorry. But yeah, trust me, you guys aren't missing anything. If you honestly want to see more people of color representation for human science designs, I bet people in the comment section can easily give you recommendations for people who are not problematic or support problematic things. Unlike Hecky, who is problematic. Hecky, get better. <sighs> oh, finally, I have a break from posting again. And if you stay to the end of this video, I have a important announcement. Okay, so I actually have two things to announce. One, there is a high chance that I'm just going to take a full on break from commentary or I may just like not do commentary anymore. But um, I'm considering it mainly because it's just hard to record my voice due to how weak and tired it is from screaming into my phone just so my phone could pick up the audio and my voice. As well as me having to write all these scripts. And yes, I know I can write a lot. I can write a fucking AU within a month and such. Which usually AUs take a long time to write out and plan out everything. But for me, it takes only like a month. While I can't even do a freaking essay for my class. Also, here's another minor announcement. I'm starting school soon. So you guys actually won't be seeing me post for a while. Because I want to keep my grades up. I'm starting high school, and I honestly don't want to, you know, fail my first freaking semester. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I hope you guys respect my wishes on that. And I actually have, then here comes the second announcement. The second announcement is me starting my own Until AU series, which I just mentioned. I'm starting my own Until AU series, and if you want more updates on that, you can easily just follow my Instagram. It's gray, and I'll be giving more updates there. So far, um, actually, the day of recording this, I have actually wrote, like, five to, like, ten pages of the AU. Mainly some lore against it and such. But for now, I haven't made as much art except for some reference sheets and whatnot. But mainly some of them are beta designs of what the character will look like. Now, um... Just, okay, I don't want anyone to say this in the comment section. Just know, I am not quitting commentary. I said there's a high chance of me quitting, but I'm not quitting fully. If I quit commentary, I will easily announce that either on my Discord or I will announce it on my community tab. But for now, don't take my word and say, oh yeah, it's great quitting, quitting commentary. I'm not quitting commentary. If I... And even if I did, I'm still going to do story time videos or videos with my voice in general because I want to get better at speaking more and not stammering over my words. Again, I want to thank you guys so much. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.